Hi guys, it's Miss Carly. I am here with this week's um, art lesson. So Valentine's Day is coming up, so I wanted to do a Valentine's Day activity with you guys. So we are going to do some salt painting. So that is where we use some white glue and some salt and then some watercolors. And we make a um, really beautiful picture because the watercolors spread out in the salt um, like tie-dye. So what you're going to need is some white glue, any sort of white glue. You're going to need some table salt. Um, you're going to need a piece of white paper. Um, watercolor paints work, but if you don't have watercolor paints, if you have food coloring at home, you can add a couple drops of that to some plain water, and that will work like a watercolor. And then you'll need a paintbrush or something to drip the paint on with. So you can gather up all your supplies and then come on back and I get to be down here. Okay, so you can turn your paper either way, whichever way you want to do it, um, whatever size heart you want to make. So my suggestion is that you use a pencil and you draw your heart first. That way you have something to trace. If you need help with this part, you can ask an adult. Maybe they can help you draw a heart on your paper. That way you have something to follow. The next step is to use a white glue and you're going to trace your heart with the glue. This glue is clear. It'll still work. It just needs to be anything that the salt can stick to. So if you have clear glue, like if you are making slime, white glue works fine too. Um, and besides the outline, you're going to want to put some um, things in the middle. So you can just do some freehand glue. If you wanted to draw these first, that's fine too. Okay, so you got your designs on there. The next thing you need to do is take some salt and just table salt. And you're going to sprinkle the salt on top of the glue. Usually what I do is put it in the middle and then you can go back and forth and you just want to make sure that all of it is covered. All of this, the glue is covered. The salt is what the paint sticks to so that what is what needs to be. Okay, so you can cover it and like I said you can tip it back and forth. Make sure you really got all that glue covered. And then any extra salt you have, you can just either dump onto another piece of paper or go right in the garbage. And so now, if I hold this up, you can see that the glue is covered with salt. So now comes the painting part. So I mixed up I used food coloring and I mixed up a couple colors here. You don't need very much water, there's not much water in there with just a few drops of your food coloring. And you're going to use your brush. You want to make sure there's a lot on there and then you barely touch the surface of the salt. And you will see that the color starts to spread out and spread. And you can do as many different colors as you would like. You could do a rainbow, you could whatever food coloring colors you have. Like I said, watercolor, like if you have the watercolor trays, those work too. Any sort of thin paint will work. And the cool thing is that when you put two colors, like I'm going to use my purple now, two colors right next to each other, they run and they mix like tie-dye. So you can work on some color mixing with this too. Put some primary colors next to each other, the reds, blue, and yellow. Put them next to each other and see what kind of colors you get. So you just keep going. Like I said, you barely have to touch the surface. 
and that paint will, or the salt, I'm sorry, will suck up the paint. fill in around and you can do this with any sort of image you don't have to do just a heart I did it with a heart because Valentine's Day is coming up and I thought it would be a fun way to use this method and then what you're going to do when you're all done you just want to make sure that this gets to lay somewhere flat. So you want to set it on a, a table or a shelf or someplace where it's not going to get bumped so the salt doesn't fall off and the, the paint doesn't run. But just leave it flat like that and it'll dry and it'll stay just like that with the colors. So you guys can have some fun with that, play around with the color mixing, see what kind of um, tie-dye effects you can get. I hope you guys have fun with this and enjoy this new art method if you've never tried it before. If you do one of these salt paintings, um, take a picture and either post it on the classroom platform or you can email a teacher or a picture to your teacher um, and she can get it to me. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. Have a good day.